You're fine. Select an available travel route. Have a safe and pleasant stay. Fine. Anytime you see one of those, keep your lightsaber handy. Okay. 
good as new.
took you so long. They said you were dead. Thank the Force you're alive. The Force and my lightsaber. Needed both this time. You've looked better, Master. Sure you're all right? I've looked worse, Kira. I'll be fine. Blasted Sith almost killed me. It was all I could do to save Dr. Parvix. The enemy left us here as food for the Killix. Taking down that Killick leader must have been quite a fight. Thing was huge. Master, I don't know what you're talking about. The giant Killick uh, leading these others. You didn't see it? If that thing eats us, you're fired. All right, Doctor. Don't worry about me. The death mark is in enemy hands. You must warn Count Alda. The Count was just killed by the death mark. The targeting device was taken to Organa Palace. Have you met a woman calling herself Elena Hark? She was with me when Count Alda died. She sent me here. Must have thought that Killix would get rid of you for her. Elena's a spy. She helped the Sith steal the death mark, and now she's targeting people with it. She could have marked dozens of people by now. The weapons laser can kill them at any time, anywhere. Not if we cut its power. The laser's still tied into the local energy grid, right? Several power stations supply the laser. Deactivating them would take the laser offline, at least temporarily. Get the doctor to safety. I'll deactivate the power stations. I have coordinates to every station. Deactivate them in the order I've described. Don't leave even one functional. We'll head to the closest Republic-friendly camp. Meet us there. May the Force be with you. is this side of the galaxy. You check. Appreciate your business.
General, the death mark has been destroyed. And I have news about Master Orgus. Garth Angrel broadcast Orgus' execution over the holonet, left the body floating in space for us to find. The Republic shuttle has just recovered the remains from the edge of the Alderaan system. I'm sorry. Orgus taught me everything I know about being a Jedi. Darth Angrel has no idea what he's brought on himself. Your master is dead, but he left us a gift. Somehow he planted a tracking beacon on Angrel's cruiser without the Sith realizing it. Every time Angrel's ship drops out of hyperspace, we know where. Orgus got the last laugh. It was a brilliant strategy, but I wonder if the cost was too great. He paid it so others wouldn't have to. Until Angrel shows himself, all we can do is secure our facility on Tatooine. Contact me when you're there. Our Sutra out. General, I'm on Tatooine. Has Master Quix reported in? No. And after what happened on Alderaan? Last we heard, Quix secured our weapons research facility. She's missed every comm check since then. Enemy action is the most likely scenario, but on Tatooine, anything's possible. Aside from the heat, what could be so deadly here? People vanish there all the time. Some are lost to the native sand people, others to natural predators. The rest, who knows? Dr. Godera will brief you on the weapons project. Doctor? The research facility on Tatooine has created a device codenamed the Shock Drum. The weapon discharges massive ultrasonic vibrations into the ground. It damages enemy fortifications at a microscopic level, quite literally softening them up. Mm. The vibrations will cripple people if they're close enough. But that's not all. The shock drum eventually disrupts the planetary core. At critical mass, the core explodes. A weapon so destructive has no place in the Republic arsenal. We only recently discovered its full capabilities. I banned further testing. However, there's a fully operational shock drum prototype at our facility. If Darth Angrel has captured it, the results will be catastrophic. No word from the facility or Master Kowix. We must assume the worst. I sense Master Kowix through the Force, but it's faint. I think she's dying. Control your emotions, Kira. Don't give in to fear. I'm not afraid, but she can't die. I owe her too much. I don't have any Republic contacts there to assist you. You're on your own. Our facility is located in a remote part of the desert. I'm transmitting the coordinates. Good luck. Marsuthra, out.
Hi, sorry to interrupt. My name's Fowler. I was told you might be passing through. I represent the Republic here. Since we don't get many Jedi, I thought we could meet. I think we should talk. Get my meaning? I'm a little confused, to be honest. Why do you want to talk to a Jedi? Here's the thing. I'd rather not do this by hall of communicator. I've got a little, uh, embassy in downtown Anchorhead. Swing on by. I promise you it's worthwhile. You're playing it awfully vague. Look, if you're not interested, I'm not gonna force you. But this isn't some local trouble. This is bigger. Follow her out. Leave me alone! I haven't done anything to you! You stole corporate documents, Camus. Zerka doesn't take industrial sabotage lightly. Contact. Subject is... Subject is a Jedi. What are your orders, sir? You know the drill. No survivors, no leaks. You're not killing anyone here. Open fire! 
Is it safe? Are they dead? Why were those people attacking us? It's... well, they, they were... Sorry, I, I've got to... Just keep breathing. Okay. My name is Camus Orton. I used to be an accountant. My company sent those men to kill me. It's a Zerka Corporation severance package. What happened in here? Come on, Camus, you know how I feel about corpses in my workspace. You... You were supposed to be here! You swore I'd be protected! Sorry, Camus. As an official Republic representative, I have to at least look like I'm being diplomatic with the locals. The man I spoke to earlier. Care to explain? Huh. I take it you saved Camus? Thanks. You're probably catching on that we're a bit understaffed. And that I'm not really a bureaucrat. It took you a month to tell me that. This is a Republic Strategic Information Service project. A covert operation. It's a major assignment. Mystery, corporate scandal, and incredibly dangerous tech, with a lot of lives on the line. You could make all the difference. I hope the Strategic Information Service doesn't plan to keep me in the dark. Sorry. Old habits are hard to break. This all started when Camus forwarded some Zerka Corporation documents to his local Republic security office. Now, we've been watching Zerka a while. They buried a lot of scandals, done a lot of dirty deals, but this was something special. The documents were mixed in with old expense reports. They described a billion credit research facility for the study of a Type 7 device. Type 7 device being Zerka shorthand for device capable of eliminating a planetary population. A corporation has a weapon that can destroy a planet? Destroy a planet? Or maybe just kill everyone on it. Makes a difference to the right kind of megalomaniac. Turns out they abandoned the project decades ago. We're lucky to know the facility was here on Tatooine. So Camus and I came to find whatever doomsday device Zerka had and keep them from burying the evidence. And us. Why would Zerka leave behind such an expensive project? From what we could find, sounds like the device went haywire and Zerka bailed rather than try and clean it up. Now clues to Zerka's operation have been extremely hard to come by. Impossible, as a matter of fact. We've got one avenue left, but it's too dangerous for Camus or me. An old compound Zerka used as a staging area. What's in the compound? After Zerka left, the compound was taken over by a gang of Gamorrean raiders who, I discovered, don't appreciate visitors. Still, judging by these dead guys here, you might be able to push past the Gamorreans and search Zerka's old storage archives, gather any data left. Sounds like this should be relatively simple. Be careful. Finding the files that Zerka left in that compound is important, but don't get killed. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs>